Welcome back. Just a few minutes ago, Agent Zero has received another major update. This time, it's the long-awaited scheduler. Agent Zero is completely free and open source. If you want to learn more, visit the official web, agent-zero.ai. You can find links to all the social networks so you can join our community and you can learn more about the project and its features. We are also in the process of rolling out the community platform, which will utilize AOT token for community features such as proposals and voting. So stay tuned for more updates here. So let me explain what the scheduler is. Up until this version, Agent Zero only reacts to user messages. So unless you send a message to Agent Zero, Agent Zero just sits and waits and does nothing, unless it already has some task in process. And while this is perfectly fine for day-to-day -day tasks uh, like this, it, it lacks the sense of time and the ability to plan and execute in the future, which might be very important for example, the hacking edition for sysadmins. Maybe you want to run some diagnostics on, on your system on a regular basis, or maybe you want Agent Zero to download the news in the morning for you or prepare a report in the morning or maybe you want to connect it to some smart devices in your house and let it operate on a daily basis. So this is where the scheduler comes in play and let me show you its powers. There are two ways to schedule tasks for Agent Zero. One of them is manually in settings in task scheduler. There is a table of existing tasks. You can create your task and here you have all the settings for the task. I will go into more detail later, but here you can specify the system prompt and the message, name the task, specify the schedule or specific dates and times where you want your tasks to run, the status, you can save it and run it. But of course, another way is to let the agent do that for you. So for example, I can tell agent zero schedule uh, to minute task to check RAM and save to file. And the agent has a dedicated set of tools to operate the job system. So here the agent will schedule a cron job that will run every two minutes with a prompt, check the current RAM usage and save it to a file. And I should already be able to see the task in the task list here and also in the task table here. And right now the status is idle because it's waiting for its time to run. So let's give it a minute or two to hit the cron point. And scheduled or running tasks, they behave just like normal chats. Right now it's empty because the task hasn't started yet but we will see in a minute when the first message arrives and the agent starts working on a task. Tasks can be created in their own dedicated chats like this one, or the agent has the option to schedule a task inside his own thread. So if it's something simple, like uh, do something in two minutes from now, the agent can actually schedule the task inside its own chat. It will be prompted in two minutes and it will continue in its chat. It doesn't need to dedicated to its own thread. Okay, now the task has started. It got the initial message from the original agent and it starts working on it. So it created a RAM usage file. Let's see. And now the task is complete. It's back to idle and it will wait another two minutes. Then it will get the same message again as a new user message and this will restart the task. The agent has a full tool set to manipulate uh, these tasks so it should be able to do any adjustments you ask for. It can see the list of tasks, it can delete them, modify them, 
Just keep in mind here that the scheduler is a bit more complex tool than the others may be, so maybe some smaller models will have problem managing tasks. I tested with the GPT models and Claude models, they all work fine, but it will depend on the size of your model. And here I can see that my original CheckRAM task has already run multiple times. So I should have multiple records in the file already. To kill the task, I can do it from here, or I can clear the chat if I want to just clear the contents, or I can also do it from the settings. This was a very simple use case that didn't really require AI, but since Agent Zero can browse the web, execute any code, and write its own software and react to random events, you get the idea. You can use it for whatever you need. There are three types of tasks. The one I showed you was cron. So if you want something run like every second hour or every day in the morning, cron is perfect for that. You can set the schedule here or just explain to your agent. He will set it up for you. This runs periodically on every instance of of the cron pattern. If you want something a bit more irregular, you can choose planned and you can specify your own dates and times, but this will not have the periodicity. The third one is manual. Manual tasks are only, let's say, prepared. They are not executed automatically. So you can set up a task for your agent and you can tell your agent to run the task based on its name or ID of the task, or it can be run with an API endpoint externally using the token. Uh, this can come in handy when you want to start the task ad hoc from, for example, another periodic task. So you can schedule a cron task that will, in some cases, trigger this task. For every task, you can specify system instructions for the agent, giving it some background. The user message, that is the actual job description, what the agent should do when the task wakes up. And you can also add attachments. It is easier to tell the agent to schedule a job with attachments for you rather than copying the URLs here. As always with Agent Zero, the whole system is optimized for the agent. The agent knows really well its environment in the Linux. It knows its tools, how the scheduler works. So just talk to your agent instead of clicking around in the UI. It will save you a lot of time. Uh, if you want to see the, the planned job, I can tell the agent, like, tell me a joke in five minutes. And it should be able to schedule a planned task in five minutes from now. Eleven forty-five, and it actually scheduled it in its dedicated context. I think in this case it wasn't entirely necessary. It could just set the dedicated context to false, and it would receive the message in this thread but for the result it doesn't really matter. And we can see the details of the job here. So the upcoming is 11.45. It has never run before. This is the time it was created. And these are the details. And of course I can also edit them. Or I can make the task start right away. For some reason, all the AI models repeat the same joke. Okay, so this is the scheduler. It was one of the few core features missing to move the project to its next major version. Other updates coming are MCP support and a new rack tool. So if you don't want to miss these updates, Subscribe to this channel, join our community. You can see the web or the GitHub for more information. Join our Discord and thank you for your time.